Hello everyone and welcome to Linux Desktop December part 15 where I'll be looking at the Sugar Desktop. So Sugar is part of the One Laptop Per Child scheme. And it's a bit more of a simplistic view for a desktop really, which is understandable for the market they're aiming for. For children, uh, presumably their first time using a computer. So yeah, top marks on that uh, respect really. They've also provided a selection of pre-installed applications or applications built more for the Sugar system. Although not specifically for the sugar system, really, more applications for children. So there's a couple of options of getting sugar. You can use the thumb image, or ISO file, which is a Fedora 23. Yeah, it's a bit old now, but uh, yeah, it required about a thousand updates to get it going. You can also install it into most other Linux operating systems. It does look very easy to do on Debian, but there are dependencies missing. Like you can install desktop, open it up, and it's a bit blank really. And when you compare it to the Fedora version, the ISO file that they've provided, the difference is night and day. And literally, one is white and one is black. <laughs> That's a bit more than that. So let's take more of a look at it. In order, to, in order to check the memory usage, I'm gonna to have to break out to a TTY terminal. I made a mistake there in the introduction. It's actually Fedora 22, sorry about that. That's not my username for this one. <laughs> Force of habit there. So using 223 meg of RAM, yeah, not bad, because the laptops you'd be using for this one laptop per child scheme wouldn't be that powerful. So yeah, that's reasonable. You could probably get away with 500 meg of RAM on them. So this desktop is based on GTK3. Well, using the framework from GTK3. Got a few little settings we can tweak. The About Me, you can change the color of your icon, select your gender and the age. I was messing around with the age and gender, but it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of difference though. I thought it would, but no, it didn't really. About my computer, sugar on a stick. So to close out these menus, we've got OK or Cancel up here on the top right hand side. Background. You can also set the transparency of the background. It's very simple to do. Uh, backup. I'll just, just backing up the contents of the journal. I'll come on to the journal a bit later. Yeah, this is different now. Modem configuration. Using the modem on a mobile cellular network. And also network for radio connection. They've really thought things through here on the one laptop per child scheme. Like getting computers into Africa where there's not necessarily a fixed broadband everywhere. If no web services are installed, please visit. Hmm. I think I can see a problem with that. <laughs> Wonder what it could be. So a list of applications form a circle around on the desktop. They're coloured to mark whether you've actually used them or not, and the different colouring here is because I actually had a different theme early on. On the top right hand side here we have the list of applications we want displayed in that circle on the desktop. The circle to literally go back to the desktop. So journal. The journal marks when I've last opened an application and what I've done on the desktop. Utilising the F keys takes you to different views on the desktop and the application that's open. Again, I suppose that's simplified. When there's nothing there, I've got the option to shut down, restart, or go into the settings. That covers the main features of the desktop. Now, I suppose the last thing to really do is look at some of the applications. I know this should be more of a desktop review, but I suppose I'm going to have to cover both the applications and the desktop all in one video, really. So using an abacus, do you know what? I have never used an abacus as a browser. I was mucking around with YouTube. Looks like YouTube doesn't work though. Looks like it could be a flash or HTML5 issue. Go across to my website. Yeah. Let's look at the user agent string. So what have we got here? That's a Sugar Labs specific browser using WebKit. Calculator, very oversized on this screen. A little bit too big really. Got different modes for it. Chat activity, offline. You must be connected to a friend before starting chat. Time, yeah, literally big analog clock. Countries, guessing game for countries. I, did, I was messing around with this last night, but uh, yeah, I was getting a bit tired and couldn't think of anything. So, Panama. Yay, got one. 
looks like I've got a bit of a way to go. There's no way of sort of moving that map around. Do you think, oh, can I sort of get some hints from that? Uh, no, can't. Help. There's a help screen. Nice. Look, look, looks like there's an explanation of help for all the applications as well. Cool. Info slicer. Get article from sugar. Sugar desktop can't be. What? I'm sure, it is in there. Processing sugar. <laughs> okay, well, that was a bit slow. I'm going to want to skip a couple of these because it's going to take quite a long time in this video, otherwise. I do here. It's not really a maze as such, is it? <laughs> what? Does it work by the keyboard? Yes, it does. Oh, okay, it'll get more complicated as you go on. So, yeah. <laughs> cool. I suppose that'll keep children amused. Memorize activity. So, we've got like a maths solving game. This one had a bit of variety in it, so you could change it to letters or sounds. Cool. One game I loved, I was having a lot of fun on this one. A physics game. So you can either do a freehand draw, or you can use predefined shapes. <laughs> Literally you can like lob things around the screen with it. <laughs> it's quite amusing really. I could have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> Yes, that could keep me amused for some time. And there's some, there are some sample projects here. What is that? Uh, hey, why has the mouse just got stuck? There we go. <laughs> God dear. Nice. What the? Okay, <laughs> let's get out of that. Pippi. Failed to start. I was looking at that yesterday in Debian. It was more like a programming language tester. You could play around with some Python projects. I don't know why it doesn't want to work there though in Fedora. Portfolio? Don't know. The text to speech. Hi there, sweetie. Hello, how do you do? Hello, Hello how do you do? <laughs> and you can change the pitch and rate, so. There you are. I'm not sure how well that will come out on this microphone. It's uh, very good at isolating sound from the computer. A stopwatch. Yes. Perhaps I should have started that already. So zero. Oh, stop. There are zero. Uh, some other puzzle game. I think I'll draw a conclusion here. The Sugar Desktop certainly does look really interesting. It looks a really good system you could put on a child's laptop or computer, and it could keep them amused. And you might need to restrict some things down in the browser, but other than that, the rest of the applications, you know, nothing wrong with those. I think for the objective of what it's trying to achieve, it actually did really well. A simplified system, and it seems to be lightweight enough. Well, thanks for watching. See you all later.